we rolling. And we rolling. Back at it again. Yeah. What's up, good brother? I ain't seen you in a minute, I man. Know it's been a, just a little brief, a little more than a usual. Little, little right. Little days. Since we rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we back in the saddle. Right. You know, how you feel? Man, I feel good, man. They say blessed and highly favored. Right on. <laughs> what they say. Yeah, what they say, huh? Well, I do mean it. Everything's blissful. Yes, uh, sir. Uh -huh. Everything's peaceful. You know what I'm saying on my end? Good, cause that's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, you know what I'm saying, excited about the next show. You know, right now, we in there. And we gotta know when y'all see us, you know what y'all need to be prepared to do? Three words. Walk with me. There you have it. I ain't <laughs> asking for too much. Not too much. You know, and we gonna go at a, a, a smooth speed. We ain't gonna run out and try to lead nobody at all. Walk yeah. with me. It's not a sprint. A steady pace of walking. You know, some people, you know, you, you, you might can speed walk if you choose, you know what I mean? But you, eventually you're gonna slow that walk, that speed down, and you know what I'm saying? We, we pacing ourselves. That's, That's right. It's a marathon. That's right. No 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 instant gratification, microwavable, nothing over here on this end. You no, know, we planted the seeds, watered the garden, you know, put the, the 13, 13, 13, got the insects off. Right on. You know, and now we harvesting them. But like he said, this ain't no, this ain't no come out the can at all and put it in the pot. Nah, man, at all. You know, it had, it's, it's the, it's the light came down from the heavens and shined up on this garden. That's right. And we gonna harvest. That's what we're gonna do in due time. Yes, sir. But, but, but in the meantime, we have to sow righteous seed. You see, come on. Have to make it our business to sow righteous seeds. Walk with me now. Welcome to the Walk With Me podcast series. I am your good brother, second son, second with a K, S U N, because I am Carlos, second son. I am Barley, known as the good brother. You dig? And, um, you know, this is the press box. And we are finna go higher. Mm -hmm. We finna go higher, man. Calling plays inside the press box. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, the, the, where we left off, uh, we told you that we was gonna get into the 12 powers of man. Yeah. We both, yeah, hell, I would advise y'all to go get this book off Amazon. Don't cost too much. Go get it off Amazon. Hell of a read. Or a heavenly read. Mm. You know. And uh, once again, the 12 powers of man is dealing with these 12 different divisions in your brain, specifically, when we say the 12 powers of man. Now, these 12 powers, of course, is available to all Humanity. Now, the key to the whole situation is where do you stand? Remember, we say where you stand? Who's on the Lord's side? Once again, the Lord that we're speaking of is the most high God that sits up high and looks down low. The pineal gland. You see? And as healthy as the spirit man is, as that, that means you're as healthy as your pineal is allowing you to be, your spirit man to be, let's say that. Because your pineal gland, you understand, would be father. Your pituitary gland, that's mother. And what we call the third eye would be the Christ in the form of a third eye. The Christ. You understand? When we say the Christ, we mean a power, an anointing oil that flows from the pineal gland. You, you see? But this whole operation can be disrupted by your behavior. Every, every, every human being's Free will is connected to these powers that we're speaking of right now. The powers, the, the, the 12 powers of man, you, you, and, and of course, these uh, 
these very important glands. We're referring to the pineal and the pituitary. You see, the father and mother of your brain. And once again, that third eye is the child. That's the representation of the child that father and mother has. Now, when we talk about the 12 powers of man, imagination, we're going to get right into it. Imagination is one of these 12 powers. You see? So we're going to go into the chapter that's titled The Work of the Imagination. Mm, come on, man. And Regeneration. That, 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 that's, that's where we're going to go with this one. Right off the top. Let's read a little bit of it out of here. Let me see. So we can put everything in the context. All righty. Huh, that's interesting right there. That this is what's highlighted right here says, sometimes whole nations seem to revert from culture to savagery without apparent cause. Hmm. But there is always a cause. Now, let, 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 let's deal with that real quick. Sometimes whole nations seem to revert from culture to savagery without apparent cause, but there is always a cause. Now see, that goes back to the three-fifths because the three-fifths frequency, this whole concept was put together to, to create savagery, to, to create savagery to create savage behavior. Once again, it's saying that sometimes whole nations, you remember we said, you got to go back to episode one, I believe. You remember we said that the Europeans left their homeland coming to North America, what we call North America which to them was referred to as the new world, hmm. to them. Because once again, these are brave men and women and their children, that's a nation, that's a whole nation. That's moving here, you see. Now, we already went through, you, you have to go back once again through, through the episodes to, to catch up if you're not there, to see what we're talking about right now when we when we going into the script right here. And it's saying, Sometimes whole nations seem to revert from culture to savagery. That goes back to the three-fifths concept once again. That was forced on my people. A way of living, a way of doing things was forced on my people. Three, that three-fifths of a, of, a, of, a, of a person, frequency, you see? Directly connected to savagery, not culture. Because remember, we said that our original tongue is not English. These people that left their homeland and came to the new world and created this corporation, you see, they played a major role in us Forgetting our original tongue. So if you're forgetting your original tongue, you're forgetting your, 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 your culture. You, you don't even, if you can't talk like who you really are, how you gonna act like who you really are? You see how this working? Now that caught my eye real quick when we go into the book of the work of the imagination. But bro, before you, before you take it back, go back to where you was just at. <laughs> Go back to what you were just said. Let me read the next sentence, though. Ah, gotcha. The okay, very so next sentence, though. <laughs> the very next sentence it says. Gotcha, I'm with you. These reversions mm -hmm. are the result of some violent wrenching of the soul or of concentration to the exclusion of everything else on a line of thought out of harmony with divine law. And that was the very next sentence. Than what you from what you just read. So it says how 
Sometimes whole nations seem to, re to revert from culture to savagery without an apparent cause, but there's always a cause. The next sentence says, no, these reversions are a result of some violent wrenching of the soul. Now what violence have our people, uh, what has come upon it, what kind of violent wrenching of the soul to where we've had our soul completely taken out of our bodies uh, spiritually? Spirit. That was that was the period through slavery that we went through, where we was forced to give up our tongue, where we was forced to give our gods away and serve the gods of our masters. So that right there is the wrenching of the soul right there. So much so that when we are around this type of savagery for so long, we begin to take it up and object each other to the same thing that we've been objected to. We've taken on the ways of our wicked master. You know, we got to really admit that shit, and and, and because of that, we suffer in a whole in, in, in a lot of ways. A lot of ways, and, and and once again, we we in the book of of, of imagination that out of the twelve powers of man, and the, the imagination that that's that's key right there. That's, that's the bulk of the lesson right there for you to see that whole nations. That that would be us, and then when you go into what you just read, that that's that's that it it divinely connects with what we're talking about here, because it's, it's 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 letting us know that you can you can be put in a situation where your culture, your way of living, mm -hmm. can be snatched away from you, and then in turn you adopt. Something that, of course, you felt like was culture because the way the way it was presented to you with the Holy Bible. So that that's 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 one way right there that would lead one to believe. Okay, well, you see, they 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 giving us this book, and then at least they they are reading it to us and and giving us lessons out of it. You see what I'm saying? That that that's the way. That the trickery, I guess, could be uh, received a little quicker, if you will. But we got to tie back into it when we got to tie this right into it when it says the reversions are the result of some violent wrenching of the soul. Meaning, the the wrenching of the violent wrenching of the soul is taking your God cold out of you. Hmm. Your, your natural God cold up out of you. And in turn, replacing it with a three-fifths of a frequency. You see? And once again, the three-fifths of a frequency, we it's, it's obvious that the three-fifths of a person is not whole. So, of course, you have to equate that to the wrenching of a soul. When you taking out what was whole, what was five over five, you taking two of them out, two two of the two two pillars out, and replacing them with a color of law. And what do we mean by a color of law? Meaning everything within this corporation that's created is created directly connected to a color. We got to know that. We, we, we have to know that. We have to get this concept. And colors, you see, are adjectives. Hmm. Colors are not nouns, meaning they're not people. We got to get this lesson, family, because it's very important to see how it's legal that somebody can wrench your soul. You see? And the legal part of it is accepting the fact, like the good brother say, you, you, we, we got we to gotta look at it for what it really is and not play with that thing and say, there's a problem. After we look at years and years of, of the results of this wrenching of the soul. You see, this replacing a whole 
godly man with the God code already in him, replacing it with artificial, watch this now, artificial intelligence. Hmm. The AI. The AI goes back to like we seeing. We seeing it here now. Now that we breaking everything down, family, going from the episode one to now, we seeing that the artificial, artificial, excuse me, the artificial intelligence, this whole concept was implemented back on the slave plantation fields. We can see it. You see? Now, the, the foundation of it being accepted once again is because of the Holy Bible or the whole book and its misinterpretation by the people that's getting their soul wrenched. Now, okay, let's deal with it. We know that the people were split up in different, uh, 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 we, we know that the Kibalon, or, or what we call Africa, is split up in 50, uh, a little over 50 different nations. So what, why are we saying that, Brother Second Son? Because this is important. That landmass was split up in different nations. We know that different nations speak different languages. Mm -hmm. You see? Now, what, what's important about that is that when you got masses, large, grande, you see, numbers of melanated bodies being transitioned, you see, or, 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 or displaced in, in another territory, you see, you got all these different languages. Now, the slaveholders, those in charge, they had did their homework. You see, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't slow. They've been studying the gods. You see, that, that only makes sense for you to study the gods so you can become one or attempt to be one. You see? So with that being said, after the after the after studying the gods, they see, okay, yeah, these different languages been spoken. So now they split up the groups. And everybody in these different groups on these slave plantation fields wasn't speaking the same language. So therefore, it made it difficult, you see, for the proper um, cross-referencing, you see, of this holy Bible or the whole book. See, it, it, we, we, we got a back against the wall. We behind the eight ball in this situation. Because this book is written in English but all of my people, we we speaking in so many different tongues that we, we can't, you see what I'm saying? We can't dismantle this thing. But we fast forward all the way to, where do we say we start here? We fast forward all the way to, let, let's, let's fast forward to um, 1865. Let's do that. You see what I'm saying? Which, since 1865 is the landmark for uh, slavery being abolished. So let's fast forward to 1865. Now, we, we got... A whole lot of melanoids, you see, a whole lot of so-called black people now in 1865 that through generations now, you remember it started back in about 1600, so you, you, you got like, you know what I'm saying, a little bit, almost 300 years of a bunch of babies being born up under this arti artificial intelligence Damn. concept. You see how this working? This artificial intelligence has disrupted the DNA code now in 1865. See? So why are we saying that? It's important because going back to the whole book and the Holy Script, we, we all have to have some type of connection with divine intelligence. That's, that's, that's divine law. That's universal law. Now, if this connection is disrupted by artificial intelligence, you see, now what results you think you're going to get out of these uh, bodies, these human bodies now, after generations have been born up under 
this frequency of misinterpreting who God is, where God is, and, 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 and what God is. Who, where, what is God? You have generations now, you see, having a misinterpretation of it. Now these people up under this auto, auto, excuse me, artificial intelligence frequency or concept, now they're, they're living three-fifths of how they're supposed to live, meaning they're not living the whole, they're not living holistically, you see? They're not living whole. They're living partial. And all of this is possible because you, you see how we walking down the historical timeline to how this thing got to where it is now to where there is a uh, high volume of melanoids in particular that is operating on a artificial intelligence frequency meaning you just bumping your head. You 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 walking around like you got strings on you, like you're a puppet, and you flip flop into every beat of the mainstream drum and don't even realize it. You 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 you're being uh, pushed off into or, or forced to ride a emotional roller coaster. You you up under this. Artificial intelligence frequency, you can't concentrate on one thing. See, let's hey, walk with me now. Imagination. You see, how how you gonna be able to create? You see, with these creative faculties that God has given you naturally, if you are not whole, how is that possible? Mathematically. You, 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 you see where we're going with this? When we when we in the when we talking twelve powers of man, and we're in the book of imagination, because it was the imagination of a man that came up with this concept of an iPhone. It came out of the brain faculties of a human being. That's important, family, because we're talking about imagination. You see, You're, you need to have the ability to hone in and, 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 and zero in on one thing in order for it to manifest. Mm -hmm. You see, the Wright brothers that created the airplane, that product that we now uh, enjoy, you see, that, that, that creation that we now can uh, yeah, enjoy. You know what I'm saying? We can jump on a, a flight, can get you there quicker if you need be. You see? A flight can get you over the waters if you need be. You see? Now, why are we saying that? I know that you, you know, we, we, you rolling pretty good with us right now, and you get it now, what we're saying now. Imagination, see, that's that's one of the twelve powers of man. Imagination, there's that that's where your creative power is. But if the right brothers, you see, was busy, even the good brother Steve Jobs, peace be upon him. If 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 they had their mind all over the place, you see, flip flopping, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on this. Mainstream topic and the, the bloop. I'm over here at this other man. You see, if they mind was all over the place, you know what I mean? Then, of course, we grown, so we got to incorporate that 30 day bill cycle. Let's keep it one on. You see, we're going to keep it real. Walk with me now. That 30 day bill cycle can be, you know, mixed up in them thoughts too. We, 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 we know that. To where you can't concentrate. <laughs> Come on. You see? Now, a lot of this is dealing with your free will. A lot of the, let's say, the success of this all. The, 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 the success of being able to use your creative faculties uh, 
it at its highest form, you know, uh, 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 at, at, at the level that God created them. Because we all, you see, every human being walking the face of the earth has some type of special ability that is God given. Now, whether they uh, know it or not, or whether they have uh, uh, attempted to nurture, you see, this ability, that's a whole other conversation. Because we, we still, we're talking about that 30-day bill cycle, you see? That's connected to these three-fifths of a person, see? Yeah, and, 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 and again, you cannot create if your mind is all over the place. You see? That's what we're talking about here. The power of imagination. Let's read one more line here. It is through the imagination that the formless takes form. You see? The formless was the good brother Steve Jobs. He had in his mind, you should say, Everything that the iPhone do, you know what I mean? All of the perks, yada yada, was in his mind. You see? First, formless. But as we can see, eventually it took form. And then now we had an iPhone. Just as well as the Wright brothers with the airplane. You see? We're gonna go with the good brother George, uh, 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 George Carver with the, you know, the peanut butter, etc. We, we can go on and on. With, with the, the great creators. You see what I'm saying? But we have to know that all these creations is going to mimic as above, so below. It's going to mimic the universe. You know, because once again, a, a, a telephone is, is, is a, uh, a concept that comes straight from the human body. The telephone line, you see, all of that. We have that ability to, to, to have uh, telepathic is that, power. I was wondering if that's where you were going with that. Yeah. We have that ability to have telepathic powers that's connected once again to our, uh, our brain faculties, our imagination. That's like that's like this. When you're sitting there in, in, in thought, deep thought, or mm -hmm. you're letting your imagination travel and you think about somebody and next thing you know they call it. That's it. That's it. Okay, that's, just, that's it. I want to just telepathic powers. I look at the word imagination. I see four, five, six words. Gotcha. But it's three or four words that I want to point out. The first word I want to point out is image, mm -hmm. which is something that you see, that you visually see your image. Mm -hmm. Second one I want to point out is imagine you are in your head once again in thought. What you were saying earlier. Uh, to a certain extent of when you are trying to bring something from your thought patterns, you have to sit there and concentrate your thought to be able to focus on one thing what you were saying. If your mind is all over the place, you were saying the man never could have thought nothing. And so I, if you can't concentrate your thought onto something specific for a period of time, then you can't manifest nothing. You can't do no magic. Which is the third word I was gonna bring when you see magi. Right. They talking about uh, you see magi. I think about the three wise men in the Bible, the, the magi. Out, and then I put a C on there, and magic, because that's what my imagination to me it brings forth, it manifests, it shows and proves that I can do magic with my mind, work with my imagination. What then? And the last word, nation. Ah. That's what we're trying to build. And so the kingdom already starts right here where he was saying right there with the three glands. The uh uh we could go we could go so far as to say the Trinity. Yes, that's the right. holy trinity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Since we referring since everything always falls back on the human body. Absolutely. But that's what I just wanted to uh add on right there. I just kept looking at imagination and everything you saying. So look at this word, man. Look at all of the the words inside of the word that take you the, to the place where you're going. Exactly takes you to the place where you're going. And it's, ve and it's very important, again, to know that your free will is connected directly to the 12 powers of man, and also there are 12 fears. Of course, like we said, we'll get to that 
later, you know what I'm saying, we, we rolling. We, this is a marathon. We're going to unravel everything that we need to unravel to get this thing figured out, family. We, I, we promise you that, you see? And the, 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 the most important part here, again, is to know that, first of all, we've been bamboozled, you see, on, 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 on I'm going to say what's important. And what is important is being whole. Because you have to, in, going back to imagination, in order to think whole, you have to be whole. And going back to uh, the artificial intelligence concept, you see, we already connected it to this three-fifths of a person. And you see that you can be ran ragged, man. You, 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 you can be ran into a, 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 um, a slump of depression, a slump of um, not being sure about yourself, you see? Because, you, you know, go, going back to um, every human being is born with some, we're going to use the word special, some special gift and talent directly connected to the DNA of the child. You see? But whether that baby know it or not is up to the nurturing mm -hmm. that it gets from the nation. You see how this working? It takes a village, remember? It takes a village to raise a child. You, you, you see where we're going with this here? And if that baby once again goes from birth K through 12 and then get to 12, being 12th grade, at the age of 17 or 18, whichever one, that they graduate, 19, whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying? Some people graduate later, whatever. But when you get out of high school, if that baby has been only, we gotta deal with this thing, if that baby has only been taught a three-fifths of a person, um, culture, we we see the results now. Remember we said, I'd be 44. See? I'd be the big 44 at the end of July. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I, hey, I, I have children, I have grandchildren now that's hitting the ground. You see? So you, it ain't, you can't tell me I'm, I'm, I'm big on observing, I'm big on results. That, that's me. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm, I'm big on uh, being a leader. I'm not, I ain't, I, you, you just can't get me to follow any and everything. And I'm saying this to, because I have hard evidence of children that, that are related to me. And some, you see, that's not. That I have observed myself, including myself. Come on. I got myself in, inside of this case study of this this K through 12 only uh, education. And then again, we saying that K through 12 is connected to Sunday school for most of us, you see? And, 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 and this is where this three fifths of a person and this artificial intelligence concept, it takes off. If, like we're saying, the child is not given any type of knowledge of self curriculum, you see, because the knowledge of self curriculum is 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 um is full of a uh, whole mm. whole doctrine. You see, everything is is about wholeness. Once again, this is what we're teaching now. This is part of the knowledge of self curriculum. Twelve powers of man. You see now, what what if what if that baby at uh let let's say. At, at, at 11, 12, you see, sixth grade, seventh grade. Let's say that right there, when that baby hits sixth, seventh grade, we start hitting them with this type of guy, this, this type of goddamn dang old knowledge. You see, look, son, look, dog, you see, 12 powers of man, your, your imagination, it's, it's yours, it's part of your birthright. You have the free will, you see, to, to do this or do that. Because we got to know that that age of 12 was significant of Jesus teaching at 12. This is the symbology of that. Every human being at the age of 12, they know right from wrong. 
Now, when we say right from wrong, we're meaning that 12 year old knows when he or she is doing something right or wrong. Lying, stealing, you know what I'm saying? Etc. At 12. That, that, that's what we're talking about. So that's how this symbolic uh, Jesus, this allegoric Jesus, which represents peace, that's what he was teaching at 12. Peace. Because peace is in doing the right thing. Peace is in living righteous. That's what the peace is. In being five over five. You see, that's what a peace is. In living in that type of uh 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 on living living on that type of frequency or vibration. Hold it for one second, because you 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 brought up mm -hmm. you brought up the good brother uh -huh. that we all learned about and heard about and uh -huh. so many of us know nothing but the good brother Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Him, Jesus. Jesus. But in, in, the, in the very introduction of this book right here. Mm -hmm. First page, man, it says, Jesus was the star actor in the greatest drama ever played on earth. There you have it. One more time. Jesus was the star actor in the greatest drama ever played on earth. I read a little bit down, it says, Jesus was the first fruits of those who are coming out of the mortal into the immortal, mm -hmm. he was the tight man, the way shore, mm -hmm. and through uh, hold on, I lost my, I lost my uh, and through following his example and taking on his character as a spiritual minded man, we shall all come into the same consciousness. We shall all. This is not. This is not a big, big Jesus and little bitty people down here. No. This is saying we all have the same capabilities to be just as big as him and to perform the miracles that he did. That's my brother. Come that's on, man. man. That, that's my, we, we, we talking spiritually. You see, my spirit man uh, uh, has a lineage. My spirit man, your spirit man, has a spirit, spiritual lineage. And Jesus, Moses, David, uh, 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 Ruth, Esther, you see, etc. This is part of our spiritual lineage. And we'll find that, like, like the good brother is saying, that we have the ability to assist the blind in seeing. Mm -hmm. Facts. That's what Walk With Me is all about. Facts. We have the ability to assist the lame man in getting up and walking. That's what Walk With Me is all about. We have that same ability. It said it said it it, it said it in the, in the scripture. Just like the good brother just read. Now, we all know Jesus to be known as the Messiah or the Savior. Mm -hmm. And uh he has these characteristics, you know, born on the 25th, 12 disciples, mm -hmm. the son of God. He was a, a, a carpenter. Yeah, carpenter. He was born through the Immaculate Conception. Right. I just want to let y'all know that this is where it could get a little rocky for y'all, but you got to be able to study for yourself. And when you do, you'll realize that it's a book right here called The Six, The World's 16 Crucified Saviors. Now, there are plenty other quote unquote saviors mm -hmm. in all different time periods, through all different uh races of people. And um, all different pantheons of gods or whatever, but I'm just gonna name a few right here that are all ha that all have those same characteristics. You got Krishna, you got Zoroaster, you got uh, uh, um, you got Jesus, mm -hmm. you got uh, Horus, Horus, you got uh, Adonis, you got Prometheus, you got Muhammad, you got. The list goes on, but this book here goes, goes into 16 of those. And also, since we're talking about Jesus, the Son of God, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the S-O-N, mm -hmm. but then I'm talking about the S-U-E. Mm -hmm. And this is a book right here. I'm going to take y'all. Y'all can do some study for y'all. This book is called The Christ Conspiracy, The Greatest Story ever sold. 
And um, I always had, you know, had a, 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 it was hard for me to wrap my head around a lot of the, um, the a lot of the ways they personified the Jesus character in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So I was, um, got to do my study and I come to realize through my own personal study and my light went out there, yeah, that is the S U N, mm -hmm. Jesus the Son. And even in some of the biblical texts, before they changed it, they had S U N in there when they referred to him. That's right. But I'm gonna just give y'all a couple of examples of of the um ways you can see how this shit came together like this. You know, they call Jesus the lion. Right. And as in Leo, right? Right. Uh, you know, he was crucified Work with it at the winter solstice between two thieves. And they're talking about Sagittarius and Capricorn. Work with it. See, this is, and now since we're getting on astrology uh -oh. with this right here, they say Jesus, the S U N, mm -hmm. has those 12 disciples, right? Which are actually the signs of the zodiac. Come on, now. Now, this shit is engraved off in the symbolism, but we don't know how to. We, we, we symbol illiterate. Right. So we can't recognize the codes right. that they put right in our face to be able to crack them. Uh, and they say Jesus walked on water, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, as the sun goes uh, in the sky across that water, that reflection is the sun walking on water. <laughs> I mean, they telling us this stuff right here, man, but we just don't know how to uh, decode this shit. See? That's, that's because we're going back to that program. You see what I'm saying? That 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 instills fear mm -hmm. in 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 the neophyte. Mm -hmm. You see, instills fear at a young age too. You see what I'm saying? And and while we own it, we know that now we know that the word is God. Come on, you see? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, you see? So that lets us know that going back to the imagination, because <laughs> a thought, you see, starts out in the mind, and, uh, and, and of course has the ability to grow like a seed into uh, a, a, a creation or a product but we also know that the word can strengthen that thought you see now we're talking about manifestation and, and the power of the throat chakra mm -hmm. you see the power that's in the throat which of course the throat couldn't be nothing without the tongue. You see? So if the word is God, we already know that this program has thrown us off because we didn't get the, the, the memo <laughs> about etymology and how it's very important to know what you're saying and what it really means because that word carries a vibration. You see, why are we saying this? Because you can talk your way out of these Christ-like abilities. What, why, why are we saying that? Because this is what you do K through 12. This is what you do. This is what you're made to do. I pledge allegiance mm. Mm -hmm. to the flag. See, first of all, you saying flag, but I thought it was a banner. You, you said star spangled banner. So which one is it? Is it a banner or is it a flag? But anyway, you start early. Program to pledge allegiance. See, but the word is God. This is very important. You see? Because these words carry vibration. You pledge allegiance to a flag of the who? Of the United States of America. Who is that? Well, that's a hell of a program. To that's be, a that's to be this big. You see? And all the way up in here. You don't even know what you're saying. You see? You see? But all the while, the science, you see, and, and the law has no respect of person. Ignorance of the law is no, no excuse. excuse. 
You see? So that go back to what we're saying here that if you see, if the baby is born K through 12, it's very important that they get these lessons. You see? Knowledge of self lessons. This, this is what you call sacred knowledge. Mm -hmm. You see? Where we had to go down in the sacred chambers, you see, and get the code. Like the good brother said, we don't have the ability to decode. The knowledge of self curriculum is about going down in the chambers, you see, of sacred knowledge and getting these codes, cracking the codes. And etymology is one of the main codes because you got to know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You see, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Once again, okay, you said it's a flag, but I thought you said, or oh, I thought the title was Star Spangled Banner. But anyway, of the United States of America, that's a what? Who is the United That's a corporation. That's not my mama. My mama just gave birth to me. You remember what we told you? My mama said nine, I was nine pounds, three ounces. She almost bled to death. So do, should I disrespect her and the law that came with her? You see, that allows me to develop whole? Do, do, should I disrespect her like that and disregard the fact that she is the one who carried me in her womb? You see, now she, she gave birth and then signed me over? See, birthright theft. You see? Birthright theft. But get this. Your birthright cannot be bought, sold, or traded. So that's what makes it illegal. You see? Or unlawful. Let's use that word. Unlawful. Because what made it legal was when mom and them signed us. You see? Over to the county. And the state of. The county of. You see? We got to know this, though. Mama them didn't know this, so, but we, 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 we got the lesson, so now we about to teach the next generation so we don't, you see what I'm saying, mix ourselves up with our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. I thought this was a democracy. Hmm. What you saying? What, it's, it's too much contradiction going on, man. From the time I'm, Mama them put me in there, pre-K, Kindergarten, you y'all know we got to learn this by uh, 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 memory. Now, when I was in school, you see what I'm saying? They had one for your state too. You say your allegiance to your state. You see? Now, if the word is God, who you see? Who is you? The universal God is looking down like this right here. Like man, who? Why is y'all? You, you don't know that you connected to the Almighty and you giving up all your your, 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 your birthright oh, no, bro. to the court? Exactly. Wait a, a minute. Allegiance. Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. A noun, which means loyalty or commitment of a subordinate to a superior or of an individual to a group or cause. So, again, from a very young age, this is a program for you to submit to do whatever it is that your superiors tell you to do. And the superiors are the nation or republic for which it stands, the United States, all that is under one umbrella. So before you pledge allegiance, your allegiance to your mother, before you pledge your allegiance to the God most high, whoever it is, they're telling you or programming you to pledge your allegiance to the state. That's deep. And that's where all the trickery starts, right there, because you... The word is God. We got to deal with this. See, we, this is what we're here for. We got to deal with this thing. The word ain't no way around that. The word is God. So if the word is God, that means the power of life and death is in my tongue. Mine. Free will. You see? Going back to the age of 12 is when you start to know right from wrong. You see? Not, not make adult decisions. Hush. Because you're not an adult. Right. So let's get this straight. But look, ain't that's what they're trying to look up? That's what they're taking it to. You see? That's where the corporation, you see, is trying to give the power. Wrong. Not, not the power, no right from wrong, but to make decisions of an adult. Because they wrong. 
Look, look, watch this. When in Rome, you see, when in Rome, Ooh. when in Rome, you 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 do what the, the Romans yeah. do, and see, they let let let's 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 go here real quick. Look at that one, right to the page. Ah, uh, all praise to the Most High. I'm talking about the universal God. You understand know I me? Mean? We going back to pledging our allegiance to this corporation. We already walked down how and who is uh, who. Uh, let, let's say we've already walked down how and who created this corporation. So we already know that these people uh, they're not in business to make nobody whole. You see what I'm saying? Now we're just going into this is a human growth and development book that I'm reading out of that I kept for my human growth and development class when when I took it. Okay. Y'all know how in college the books go out of, you know what I'm saying? You, you, the old ones, you know what I'm saying? You got to get, you got to either keep them or whatever. They, you can't buy them back because they bring it in a brand new published, you see what I'm saying, form of the book. This, this is one of the books that I kept because I'm very into the human body and how the human body works. You, 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 you understand? So I'm just going to read this part right here real quick about these the Europeans remember we said these Europeans came with a with man woman and child to this landmass you, you see keep that in mind that these Europeans came from their land to this landmass because they couldn't they didn't have good jobs mm -hmm. they couldn't buy land mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying they was matter of fact they had no navigational uh, knowledge you see you remember when you helped me with that word they had no navigational knowledge so. With that being said, this was a a a, 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 a um, this was a, a trip that some of them didn't come back because hmm. they didn't know how to navigate on the waters. You see, that go back to ships were being built by the Melanoids. The Europeans were not building no ships. You, you see how that worked? Because yeah, we were traveling on water then. You see, Piscean age, uh, water sign, etc. But let's look how these people uh, live. This out of a human growth and development book, once again, written by Janet Belsky. You see, dig this now. The astronomical childhood mortality rates plus the dire poverty may have explained, we, we, we talking about colonial times. Yeah, let me put this in context. This, this little piece right here that I'm reading is, is talking about uh, colonial times, and we know that colonial times is these times what we we talking about right here when we when we talking about uh, coming to America, going back to episode one. You see, when when the Europeans came, this is the colonial time when they came here, uh, and we are gonna mark it from the late 1500s. You see, all the way to 1865. That's the colonial time when these beasts of uh, of a, of a people. Just came to, you see what I'm saying, taking over and going on. Let, let's look at how they was living. You see what I'm saying? B before they even attempted to come this way. The astronomical childhood mortality rates plus the dire poverty may have explained why child rearing practices that we would see as abusive today used to be routine. Dig this. In 18th and 19th century Europe, Middle class babies were farmed out to be nursed by country women. Let me read that again. In 18th and 19th century Europe, 18th century, that's 1700. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm thinking that. 19th century, that's 1800. Okay. So let's read it again. This yeah. ain't but two hundred years ago, see, man. Watch this, and let's say let, let's say it how we can. You see, what I'm saying uh, translate to eighteen. In seventeen hundred, in let's say in in the seventeen hundreds and the eighteen hundreds, Europe middle class babies were farmed out to be nursed by country women. They were sending their babies out to farm. They were separated from their parents during the first two years of life. Damn. Child abandonment was common, especially among the poor. In the early 1800s in Paris, about one in five newborns were exposed 
It got exposed in, in, in quotation marks, meaning placed in the doorways of churches. Wow. Or simply left outside to survive or die. In cities such as St. Petersburg and Milan during the same era, the proportion might have been as high as one in two instead of one in five newborns. You see how these beasts of a people, you see? And, and once again, this, this is just specifically a, a, a portion of the book that, of course, is talking about human growth and development and by how important the environment is and, and, and how the baby, you see, coming from in the womb to outside the womb. This, you, as you can see, is a writing about Europe in the 17 and 1800s, how they were thinking about their child. So what you think, you see, when you fast forward up until 1865 or even 1776, what make you think that this same beastly DNA, because they make babies, you see? Europeans been making babies. So that means this same KKK frequency, Ku Klux Klan frequency, you see? Skull and bones frequency, you see? Skinhead frequency, you see, has been birthed over and over again, and you see that they don't care about their own children. What make you think, you see, when you send yours and talk about going back to I pledge allegiance to the flag? That's these people of the United States of America. <laughs> That's who it for with his stand. One nation. How you go? You see? That's that's we we got to know that that is the that that is these people going back to your elected officials. You see, we got to deal with this thing now. Family. Same people, the same exact <laughs> DNA code. You know what this makes me think of when you, that, that excerpt what you read it put something. It, it was a piece of the puzzle for me. And it was this on a whole other time. Okay. But really not. Okay. They took the babies immediately away from the mothers to be farmed somewhere else. They separ the, the parents separated the babies. Now, you fast forward, what do we have? What was another European concept? That was take our parents and put their ass in the nursing home. So when we was babies, this is a this is a DNA cycle that has been going on for hundreds of years through these people, through ways of life, through culture that never was ours. Never. We never did. It was a, you can't find nowhere in history that African people gave the babies away down the road for nothing, left the babies on somebody's porch or church. You can't find them, but that's the, that's the European culture. Beast. So now. As they begin to be adults, how many you don't know, hardly ever hear white folks talking about their mothers and fathers, or how good of a relationship they got with their mothers or fathers, or grandparents. And and I've noticed through conversations with white people that it is mostly with their with their parents and their it's their, their parents' relationship with their grandparents, and that and that is the time period before the grandparents. And for our age group, the grandparents was the first ones to come to this landmass. Mm -hmm. They were immigrants to get here. And so when they, and, and how did they get there? Because they was poor. You know what I'm saying? In the late they got, 1800s. They got kicked out of somewhere. They snuck in here. In or they was criminals. Mm -hmm. So when they came here, they making babies. That's facts. They trying to, these grandparents, they trying to survive. They just got here trying to survive. So they make babies, which are the parents of our peers. So the parents of our peers, they didn't have a good relationship, uh, a lot of them, unless they had money, unless they came from money. Right. And if they did come from money, a lot of times, too, they end up fucking the money off. Right. Or they end, or, undisciplined. Undisciplined. Or they are the ones that are in power now. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, this this, this whole uh, skull and bones fraternity. Yeah. Pass, sure. pass down. The same way the family, the same way the DNA, the same way the uh, culture, or uh, fuck these kids. That God damn, that's that's where it came from. You see? 
<laughs> well, look, 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 look. Out of a human growth and development book, straight out of the college curriculum. You see, this highlighted, this little passage right here is highlighted. I, man, you, you see what I'm saying? I, they, them Europeans in the 17 and 1800s yes. said, fuck them kids. That, that, that's exactly what they said. Left them at the doors of the churches. Okay, fast forward. Why? Again, we just said this earlier. We have taken on the savagery there you have of culture of our oppressors, of our open enemies, and we make it our own. Brenda had a baby. The baby's in the dumpster. The baby's is over here. Uh, grandma, she's sick now. Send her to the home. Got it. Send Papa to the home. We don't care if he can't turn over for two weeks. Got all type of bed sores. That's not our way of life. Mm -hmm. That's the European way of life, man. Everything given to us by the European was not for the upliftment for us, and it wasn't even for the upliftment of humanity. humanity. Period. Exactly. Exactly. Give him his shit back, please. Give it back ASAP. And let's get our own. Let's get back to knowing what our own is. And it's okay to admit. Well, God damn, this whole time, I done been hoodwinked and been given the spiritual food, the table food of our oppressor. And we ate and we got by, but that don't mean it was healthy for us spiritually or physically. Let's figure out what was our shit and get back to it. Same cold. Go ahead, bro. You see? Shit. Just like you said, I'm talking about here. Yeah, bars. Let that, let that beat breathe. You see what I'm saying? Well, yeah, you, like you say, that's very important. That how do you expect to be godly eating at the devil's table? That that just that's that doesn't make logical sense. <laughs> you see, and we got to get to the place, like the good brother said at the top of the show, to where we are admitting that there's an issue. You see, so it can be corrected. And we, did, once again, this, uh, the, the, the whole 12 powers of man lesson, you it's, it's going to be difficult to digest if you cannot see that there has been some bamboozlement as it relates to your spirit man, you see? Because we got to know that your, your spirit self and your, 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 your natural self is... Is is um they're running concurrently, like you see what I'm saying? At the same time, the spirit is 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 um like a remote control for your natural self. But if your spirit man is unhealthy, you see, just as well as like if your natural body is unhealthy. You see, and you got to go, you know, get your checkup or go get, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Your diagnosis, yada, yada. Your spirit man has that same uh, issue of, it's very important to know this. Am I operating on this, uh, uh, excuse me, artificial intelligence three-fifths of a person frequency? You see? Because that would be just solely your natural self. Your carnal self, you see what I'm saying, uh, uh, mixing and mingling in this game that was created when we're talking about this corporate game was created, you see, to, 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 to wrench your soul. You see what I'm saying? And you don't want your soul wrenched. You want your soul to be whole. Because on the, the, the flip side of that, when your spirit man is healthy and living in health, these 12 powers that are naturally available to you, you see, directly connected to your free will, it allows you to be able to navigate, you see, through this uh, earth realm, you see, with a divine purpose, of course, and then where, where there's a, a healthy spirit man and a divine purpose, there's defi divine protection. You see, meaning your what you were born to do and be 
It will be, mm -hmm. you see? But that's only when that spirit man is healthy so that spirit man can allow these 12 powers to do what they do. Going back to imagination, you see? The imagination, the will, will is one of the 12 powers. You see what I'm saying? Your, your faith, faith is one of the 12 powers. Let's read them all real quick before we, you see what I'm saying? Before we let it, all, all 12 of them starting with faith, strength, discrimination, or judgment, you see what I'm saying? That's very important to have to have the ability of uh, the ability of discrimination or judgment. The wisdom, see that take wisdom to be able to discriminate. Or, or because we get we when we hear that word judge, we get scared of that word right. judge. When that 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 word or, or that principle is there to, to keep you in in, in 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 a safe place. Example. I need to have the ability at, at, at a certain stage of my uh, spiritual development. You see, the, 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 the development of my spiritual man. I need to have the ability, the wisdom, to discriminate against certain people. You see, that carry certain energies. That's not in the best interest of, of my divine purpose. You see? Because mm -hmm. when you live in, 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 in a divine purpose frame of mind or, 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 or mentality, when you got a divine purpose mentality connected to your imagination, you see, then you definitely have to have the ability to discriminate, meaning this is what this means. See, when you become whole, this is, this, this is what judgment or discrimination of the wisdom of it means. The places I used to go, hmm, I don't go no more. The things I used to say, I don't say no more. The things that I used to do, I don't do no more. The people that I used to go see well, and well. hang with, I don't hang with no more. Come you see? Because once again, that's the wisdom and of, of your judgment and discrimination. Because you can't, so you can't be super friendly out here. Come on. Because we we've been, we've been uh abused you see to in a in a malicious way as it relates to this three-fifths artificial intelligence frequency that pleasantly to, to the flat remember that whole shebang we've been we've, we, we've been abused too maliciously once again to where you don't really have time to be you know what I'm saying trying to play with folk man you you, you got to get yourself in a place to where you have the ability to discriminate from situations and people that doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't allow your your higher self, you see, to operate. Meaning your spirit man, you see what I'm saying, is not operating in the five over five frequency. That's what that means. It's okay to be uh Separating yourself, coming out from among them. That you see what I'm saying? That's doing things that's unproductive. That's that's what we're saying here. When it comes to uh, discrimination, having the wisdom of discrimination or judgment. Love is another power. One of the twelve powers. Love. And that love, of course, we speaking of is connected to truth, not emotions. Mm -hmm. The truth of the law. You see, not emotions. That love. You see, that love will have you. Leaving your uh, who you thought was your best friend alone, that that love that we talking about, that that give you the ability to see straight through some uh, some foolery. Mm -hmm. That love, you see, the agape one, imagination. You know, we started with that one. Understanding. Don't skip skip power. Power. Look at it. You see. You see what I'm saying? Good looking out, God. Skip, skip right over power. Power. You see, going back to there is, you, you have power sitting right in your tongue. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? The power of life and death is in the tongue, meaning going back to the word is God. You see? You can, you can 
speak things into existence. And you will. Right. You will. That, that's, Big that's fact. That's the law of life. Big facts. Good or bad. You will speak it into existence. This is one that we, you need to, we, we, my people, and I'm going to exclude myself because I taught myself not to do certain stuff that's going, you see what I'm saying, hurt me spiritually. We need to get this, I ain't got it. I'm broke. We need to get that out of our, 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 our vocabulary. Big facts. Because for, for, for generations, the baby's been hearing, you know, mama ain't got it. You know we broke. You know we ain't got it. We broke. So we can't be fixed. You see, that, that, and like the good brother say, and you will speak good or bad into existence. Because I've observed that through generations. This, I ain't got it. I'm broke. And you see, okay, keep saying it. Then we see. You see? How about I'm uh, temporarily financially challenged? That's it. Change that shit up to where you say it, That's man. It. That's it. You know what I mean? Temporarily. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Temporarily. That's all. Not versus, you know what I'm saying, using that word, that terminology, period. Get it out your, your, your sight. Get it out your, your mouth. Fix your mouth. Because once again, if if the imagination is a power, you see, if, 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 the, if the power of the tongue, you see, is a power, and, and, and if understanding is a power, you see, my, I need to fix my mouth, you see, because otherwise, I'll be uh, speaking myself into some very sticky situations. And it's possible that I could do it for generations because the babies is watching and they listening and they mimic and they do everything that we do. So then you see, then we got another generation saying, nah, you already know, you ain't gonna ask mama, man. You know, mama ain't got, you know, daddy, you already know. See what I'm saying? The power, once again, of life and death is in the tongue. You going back to the, the etymology. You have to know what you're saying. This the word kid. See? Now this word kid in the Bible is referring to a baby goat. You see how this working? So if this word kid, K-I-D, has a vibration. You see? Because the word is God, remember? If I continue to call my baby or my child a KID, see, now, the universal law has no respect to person. So, the universal law or the universal God is looking at you like, what you mean you're not a goat? How is you, hmm. how is you got baby goats and you're not a goat? So, you, 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 you don't, you, you see? Now, we can trace that. Go, go to your Holy Bible, go to the word kid, and put it in context. That word is not talking about children. It's not talking about babies. That word is talking about a baby goat. You see how important that is? Because they want you to do what? Register your kids. See? And now we, 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 we deal with the word live. If I ask you where do you live, you you you're gonna say quite naturally, more than likely, you're gonna spew out a a corporate name of a city. If I say where do you live, but it's important for you to know that you do not live within that corporate paper constructed jurisdiction. It's only on paper. That's facts. That's how this corporation operates. That's how that's how any corporation operates. Is paperwork. These imaginary lines that you call state, city, is only politically now, we talk of political science now. Politically, this is just a jurisdiction on paper. So therefore, you can't live there. But where the God body lives is, emphatically is within himself. Mm -hmm. See, I live within myself. Facts. That's where I live. Facts. You see? Now we have to once again fix our mouth. And it's important to get these lessons because these are the lessons that you have to get so you can unplug from the matrix and then, you see, become whole and then this court has no jurisdictional power over you then. 
What are we saying, Brother Second Son, when we say jurisdictional power? The jurisdictional power that this court has over you, remember you said in, in, in kindergarten? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. You, you, you see? That's jurisdictional. The word is God. Remember? And then you follow that up with paperwork. You applied for something. You registered for something. You see? And you registering and applying within a political constructed race where you got to check a box to say what race you in when they're universally now. Universal and divine law has it that there is only one race and that is the human race. You see how this working? So going back to episode one when we say consent of the governed. Y'all write that down. Somebody write that down. I'm going to give you three, I want to say, quick documentaries in case you're not a big on reading. Because mm -hmm. we, 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 I, I, we, I know how it is, you see what I'm saying? Everybody is not big on it, but it's still, where there's a will, there's a way. So jot these documentaries down real quick. Consent of the governed is one. You might not be able to find it anymore on YouTube or whatever. It's been a minute. I don't even know if you can find it anymore. Consent of the governed is one. Inside job is another. Inside job. Four horsemen is the third. Consent of the governed. Inside job. Four horsemen. These three documentaries is going to put you directly on point on how this corporation operates. When we say this corporation, I'm talking about U.S.A. The court. It's very important now that we go ahead and get these sacred knowledge lessons so we can be who we really are. And I take pride in taking what was meant for evil and getting my good out of it. What do I mean by that? This is what I mean. We know that the Holy Bible or the whole book was pushed off and interpreted in a slave-coded way on purpose. Right. But I take pride in taking that same book and extracting out what the universal God meant for me to know about it and then operate on it, you see? Because I am not one of the ones that will tell you to throw the Bible away. I'm not, don't put me on that list. Me neither. That's like telling that baby that came in here sucking on that pacifier, you just gonna snatch the pacifier out the baby mouth just one day out the blue. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that baby like that. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because I love the children. You see, as we can see. And you just don't do no baby like that. And you you, you, you for damn sure don't leave no baby on no church doorstep. And you for damn sure don't leave no baby out. In The book said they would just leave the baby out there to fend for himself. Like, like we saying in the Brenda's Got a Baby format. You, that's, that's evil and unhumane. You see? But it was also oh common amongst the Europeans. Oh so common, as we can see, amongst the Europeans. So let's go on. Because we done got tied up in this thing, y'all. I mean, you see what I'm saying? They said, walk with me. You see? That's, that's what we're doing here at the Walk With Me podcast. we unraveling bit by bit, you see, what we need as it relates to knowledge of self, health is wealth, that clone free talk. You see? Understanding is one of the twelve. Will. Order. You know where that, you see what I'm saying? Law and order is very important. In order for that master builder to build that home, there has to be law and order. Mathematics. To, to, to the, from, the, from the blueprint all the way to the, to the roofing. 
There, there's measurements to that door that that master builder knows. Going back to Jesus being a carpenter. That's the symbology of Jesus being a carpenter. Building this temple up. The human body. Building this temple up to, to be a solid, you see what I'm saying, foundation for not only self, but for those that self is responsible for. Be it my queen, my children, my grandchildren, right. my great-grandchildren, my great-great to come, my great-great-great to come. You see, that's the whole purpose of masonry and Jesus being a carpenter, to build this temple because we know that the human body is the temple of God. Now, going back to a master building, there has to be law and order. You see, length, angle, and width. You remember? Law is what builds that home. That window, certain measurement. That door, the front door, the back door, certain measurement. Go, go ask your master builders. They, they can tell you. It's some floor plans that they done did so much that they don't even have to look at the blueprint no more. You see? That's law, that's order. You see? And in order for you to obey the law, you got to know the law. You see? That's where this word order come in at. As it relates to the 12 powers of man. Because you got to you got to abide by divine order to get out of this grand machinery that God, you see what I'm saying, created for you to get out. Zeal is one of the 12. Elimination is one of the 12. And life conserver is one of the 12. Now again, we can relate, we can connect all 12 of these powers to a disciple, to a major That's organ. Right. That's right. You see, a major organ of your, or your body of your body, these, these 12 powers can be connected to. Of course, the brain area is where all the 12 have to come, you see, up to to get its instruction. Your imagination, you, you remember, you see, all that is connected directly to the brain. Twelve different divisions. Remember we said that? Or the brain. Twelve different mineral salts that the earth calls for and your body too. Now these twelve mineral salts that your body calls for, you can get them out of certain foods and some, some, some of them you can't. Some of these mineral salts you have to get out of what you call the cell salts. To where you got, once again, these twelve different divisions operating on the nutrients, you see, that they need. Because when it comes to God body living, you see, there's law and order. There's a certain way to eat, going back to culture. There's a certain way to drink, etc. There's a certain way to celebrate, etc. We have to know that all of this uh, subject matter here that we're dealing with right now, it matters as it relates to your spirit, man, and how healthy or not it is. Law and order, once again, is connected to LAW, lift angle with it. You got to obey the law. So you can escape disease. Disease in the form of confusion, Depression, anxiety, disease in the form of cancer in, in, in any shape, form, or fashion, you see? There, there, there's a, a recipe that the universal God has already written up that if you cook it up like it's supposed to be cooked up, you see? Then you get these results. Like you know, granny them, you know what I mean? Like them good greens, granny make that good dressing, etc. It's a certain, it's a certain, you see what I'm saying? It's a certain recipe, certain ingredients that just you got to put in there for you to say, mm mm, good. Hmm. You see? That that's that's that mm mm good you can get out of life if you obey the law. Going back to the twelve powers of man and Specifically when we're talking about order. Because there's a way, there's a right and a wrong way to do things. And we have been 
indoctrinated on purpose to do things the wrong way. We, 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 we spend too much time outside of ourselves looking for God mm -hmm. because that's a part of the indoctrination to keep you confused mm -hmm. about who God really is. And where. And where. Because once again, in the beginning, in the beginning, you see what I'm saying, was the word and the word was God. And the word was with God. So that makes each human being a God. Before he even tell us over there, you see what I'm saying? In John, I believe it is. He are gods in the New Testament. You see? You, 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 you that? Straight through your birthright. But that code, as we can see, has been interrupted. And Going back to the consent of the governed, we've been given consent after these many generations. You see, we've been given consent because we got the Honorable uh, Marcus Mosiah Garvey. You see what I'm saying? We got Drew Ali, Noble Drew Ali. We got the Nation of Islam with Elijah Muhammad. We got the Black Panther Party movement. You see what I'm saying? We got the Deacons of De Defense. You see what I'm saying? We got a uh, 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 Kwame. You know what I'm saying? The the uh, man, I can go on and on with the movements, mm -hmm. the offshoots of the movement. You see, to where it's it's evident that we have ancestors that were thinking. Mm -hmm. You see, so it, they, they, with that evidence, going back to history, science, and law. See, history t tells us that we have the ability to think our way out of this three-fifths of a person frequency, this auto artificial intelligence frequency. Because, like we said, the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey is, is one of the, the monumental movements of our people that Without any internet, without any email, text message, uh, you see what I'm saying? Uh, group message, group email, without any of that. The gods, they were able to get together by mail. That's obvious. They were, they were doing a lot of writing and sending letters back then to where they formed movements, you see what I'm saying, of, of thinkers. And why are we bringing this up? Because we are our ancestors. That's that's the fact. It's in our genetic code to be godlike. Specifically, when we talk about the melanoid, that's 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 how the the enemy got its uh, opportunity to come in here and do business. Cause we are spiritual people. We're not savage. We're not we're not a savage people. We 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 are spiritual people, and we want everybody to live in peace. And originally, like we said, that was the vibration of the earth planet until this beastie DNA hit the scene, leaving babies at the goddamn gone church door. Babies. We wasn't doing that. We was in Take a Village, you see? Wakanda. You know what I mean? We've been on that. We was building universities and teaching the family. You see? But somewhere along the line, as we can see, somebody got the plan. Us, I'm saying the Melanos, we got just a little too friendly. But, of course, like we said, we're spiritual people. That's how we operate. We want everybody to be all right. You see what I'm saying? We, we, giving, we giving each human being the benefit of the doubt. But now, we see what that do, so we got to correct that, family. That's just what it is. And the obligation is on us. The baby boomers then did what they could do. Now it's on Generation X to 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 lead Generation uh, Y, which is my our children, mm -hmm. into the promised land, not a uh, degenerate land. Because hmm. degenerate land is this. I see these babies growing up a whole other generation without fathers. That's degenerate. We already did that generations. You see? 
Going back to what the good brother said, sound like we done adopted somebody way. Slicked it in on us real quick before we even realize it. Now we generations behind the eight ball. We got to clean that up, family. We got to clean up imagery. Because imagery is important going back to imagination. We're going to stay on that 12 power, man. It's on you. It's on the family to go ahead and you dig into that lesson yourself. Because me and the good brother Lean, we, not to be arrogant, we already got this lesson. And we know what it do. You see? Definitely know the, the benefits of the 12 powers of man. Second son, yes. Yes, I do. I definitely know the benefits of the 12 powers of man. When you make a righteous decision to do something different, here, here it comes. Come on. The manifestation of different <laughs> instead of the same. Like we saying, that's insane. Insane. When you keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result, that's insanity. We we booting that out of our cipher, you see? And we tapping into our ancestors' spirit. Like we saying, the Honorable Mosiah, Marcus Mosiah Garvey and the whole, the plethora of names that we can name to come behind him and that uh, magnanimous movement you see, we are under an obligation right now to tap back into that spirit of our ancestors and dig ourselves. Because we got more opportunities now. We got way more opportunities now. Like right now, me and a good brother, nobody can tell us that we can't do this show. <laughs> you see? See how this working? Nobody, as long as we got a good hot, you see what I'm saying, Wi-Fi going. You see what I'm saying? We got internet service, etc. going, camera, uh, and we got will. Facts. Because we got to have will Facts. to do this. Facts. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody making us be here. You see? That comes from your willpower. To, 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 going back to love. You, we, you, we got to have love for not only ourselves, but the family to, to boot up. We, we, who, we not, who said we got to boot up? We can sit with cameras off between me and him and just go in. Go intellectually, just, you know what I mean? Ba, 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 ba. Intellectually masturbate, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But what good does that do just me and him, you see? To harbor this information that the family need. That's will. You see? In real time, we showing you what to do. See, I'm big on talking about it. But then I'm bigger on being about it. You see? Because we told you once again that there's power in that tongue. The power of life and death. You see? I choose to speak life into myself, into my queen, into my children, into my grandchildren, into my great grand, my great great, my three time great to come, all that. I choose to speak it now. Because I see that there is a law universally in place that's in my favor. What are you saying, Brother Second Son? This is what I'm saying. If I take well advantage of the universal laws that's been placed out there for me and do what I am supposed to do on this earth planet, then everybody, every human being, I'm saying, that I'm responsible for is going to benefit from it. Come on. Far, long after I'm, you see, have transitioned on, my physical shell has expired. We talking about way on down there, and my great great grandson is, is he, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't hit the mix. He can feel, you see, it's called generational wealth, family. Mm. He can feel, you see, the effects of his great great grandfather on this airplane. Cause see, we, I, I, once again, I'm about being about it. So if I'm being about it, that means I'm doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing. That's what me and the good brother Lean come in at right here. Walk with me. You see? And we, I can promise you that this walk is definitely the, 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 the goal and the end result 
is liberation. Liberation of the mind, going back to imagination, you see? Liberation, liberation of the mind creates space. See? When you know who you are, it creates space for you to be able to uh, concentrate and hone in on those creative, you see, babies that's inside of you. To where, you see, you got the ability to bring them to life now in real time. But once again, you, it's very important that we go through this thing and unravel this beasting frequency that has been indoctrinated on my people. And once again, we see a, a very high dosage of degenerate behavior going on. That degenerate behavior, I'm talking about with my people, is connected directly to this three-fifths of a person artificial intelligence frequency. Mm. The only way that we can get out of that is to heal. The only way you're going to be able to heal is to be still. Mm. Peace. See? And no. Because you can't be bouncing around, going back to the imagination, you see? We're going to keep reiterating on that fact that your imagination does not work in your favor. Your understanding does not work in your favor. Your will, your zeal, your power, you see, does not work in your favor. Your faith does not work in your favor if you are vibrating on or thinking that you three-fifths of a person, meaning you a slave. If you thinking you a slave, then you're going to be, you see, this is, this is natural law. If, you, if you're thinking it, that's what you're going to be. And once again, the ultimate goal is to be able to exercise these 12 powers of man. And, and again, law and order is connected to it. You got it. There's a certain way you need to be eating. You, you need nutrition, nu nutritional value going down into your esophagus and, and entering into the river of life. That river Jordan, you see, that the Bible speaks about is your bloodstream. That, that's, that's, that's the river Jordan. Your bloodstream is symbolic of your bloodstream. Mm. That same river where Jesus was baptized by John. You see? Inside, see, now we're going into the, 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 the actual allegory and symbology of how the body is really the main theme of the Bible. You see, we all Hebrews. We all come from her well. Hmm. We just split up in different nationalities. You see? Say that. We all come, we all Hebrews because we all come from her well. We just split up in different nationalities and the Israelites is your sales. Now save that. Save that. <laughs> Walk with me. Hey man. Like I said, <laughs> first and foremost, I'm a master student. Right off. So me anytime, too, bro. man, information and knowledge me too. is being disseminated. I want to be there. I want to be a part of it. I want to know about it. Yes. You know, I want to be able to know you. about it and tell somebody else, hey, uh, come check this out and, and see if you can get the same thing I got out of it. Count me in. This is the Walk With Me podcast. That's yes, it. We're exploring the 12 powers of man. And this is a journey that we will be walking down through. We ain't, we ain't finished yet. We're really just getting started. Absolutely. Just warming up. That's a fact. Pre-game. Pre-game. Pretty much so. Hey, uh, y'all tell somebody about the Walk With Me podcast. Please uh, do it. Go to, to the YouTube, subscribe to the press box, find those Walk With Me videos, share those videos, send them to somebody else, comment on them. Yeah. Uh, do that. Bad comments, it don't matter. If do you that. don't like it, well, say you don't like it. Do that. Do that. All that. If it's uh, y'all got questions on that y'all want to ask us to expound on, 
Ask the questions. Do that. All that. Interact with us. Like I said, we talk back. Absolutely. We talk back, bro. You got any other closing words? Uh, nah, my closing words would be, um, you see, once again, it's, it's very imperative that we hone in on the, the, the bamboozlement. Mm -hmm. And that's once again that's that's what we doing here on, on, on Walk With Me podcast series. We just highlighting the bamboozlement and making it our business in real time to correct the bamboozlement as far as what we can control. You see, and the part that we can control is 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 definitely you see what I'm saying. Right now, like we said, it's, it seems like it's getting easier and easier because of modern technology, etc. The, the message can, it's just, you know, we have so many uh, different ways to get the message out now to where, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's once again, just important to, like, first admit that there's an issue and then just tap in mm -hmm. and plug into these different platforms like this one, you see what I'm saying, of course, walk with me podcast series that is uh, shedding light on the lies. So with that being said, just, you see what I'm saying? Stay stay encouraged and stay with us. You see what I'm saying? Like like we said, we, we just warming up. We, we gonna be, we, 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 we'll continue to hit you. You see what I'm saying? With uh, knowledge of self, health is wealth, calm, free, and metal coastal talk. You, you see? And we gonna give it to you uncut and raw. And like the good brothers say, we ain't, you know what I mean? We're not uh, 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 too, we, we, we're not too good for, you see what I'm saying? The Dealing with the negative comments, if that's what you feel like. You see what I'm saying? I, I, well, I guess I, I, I shouldn't say negative, but the, uh, the, the, the questions that might seem challenging. Right. You see what I'm saying? To what, 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 what we talking about. Yeah, let's use that word. The challenging questions. You see what I'm saying? We, 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 we welcome it all. You know what I mean? But the most important part that we welcome is the spirit of, mm -hmm. like the good brother say, uh, being a student. You see what I'm saying? And allowing yourself and ourselves to learn and grow through this thing. Because that's really the, 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 the goal is to grow and learn Versus the debates, you see what I'm saying, and you know what I mean. Who who was first, and who should, you know what I mean. All that, we, you know what I'm saying. We we pretty much want to stay away from that energy, but it's okay to to you know have questions to where you see what I'm saying. They might like like we're saying be challenging the information or whatever. The, you see what I'm saying. That's okay. That's all I, I, I pretty much got to say, man. And um, yeah, I am your good brother, second son. A second with a K, S U N, because I am Carolyn's son, and we on the wall with me. <laughs> wall with me podcast. Hey, y'all thought y'all was gonna get out of here without hearing none of them notes and tunes, man? And them vocals. Wall with me. <laughs> Hey man, we got some more of that coming too. That's a whole nother episode. Absolutely. But we gonna I appreciate you for it. Hey, cause I can't remember if last time if you gave us some, but I know the first two, it came in. I came on that last one. Yeah. So you 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 just blessed me with that one, man. Right. Bless y'all out there too, man. You too, world. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yes. We'll see y'all sooner than y'all know. And we out. Peace. Peace.